Okay folks, Treb's August report told us the same old story with home sales down and new listings up, although just slightly. Combined with another rate cut, this pattern continues to tell us that home buyers have an opportunity to use their buying power to negotiate a great price and get on the market before dropping borrowing rates trigger more buyers to start buying up that inventory. If you're nervous about buying now, remember two things. Number one, we have a well-supplied market with home prices slightly lower year over year, so housing prices are good right now. Number two, a variable mortgage will allow you to take advantage of dropping borrowing rates. According to TREB President Jennifer Pierce, the latest rate cut will help further improve affordability, especially for those using variable rate mortgages. She tells us we'll continue to see mortgage rates trend lower as this year winds down and we enter 2025, leading to an uptick in first-time buying activity. So acting now could be your saving grace, allowing you to pay less for more of what you desire. Because as TREB Chief Market Analyst Jason Mercer points out, Ample choice in the market will help keep price growth moderate, at least for now. But we don't want to press you to act because this strategy means you need to feel comfortable with higher mortgage payments for a little bit at least. It's a good time to speak to a smart real estate team like us, wink wink, because you want the right strategy for you. There really is a balancing act between what you pay for the home, how much you need to put down, and how much your mortgage payments will cost based, of course, on interest rates. If you have a bit more money to throw around, buying now might work best. While those with less, with less bandwidth cash-wise need to do some serious math. It might be safer to see further rate drops, but you wanna buy while prices are still affordable. Because the longer you wait, the higher price you'll pay for a home, and the lower borrowing rate you'll see. Sellers. If you're not desperately in need of a sale, Trev CEO John DeMichel says that today's elevating listing inventory will ultimately recede. That means you could bide your time until next spring or summer-ish as inventories drop and prices start to rise. More buyers will be out there because of further rate cuts, which can help level out the playing field negotiation-wise. We're happy to discuss your home equity to decide the best timing for you. The bottom line is that as lower trending borrowing costs continue over the next year and a half, buyers will benefit from lower monthly mortgage payments and home prices. But once those buyers absorb the high inventory, sellers will see price growth as the market starts to recover further into 2025. Having a good real estate team in your back pocket is your safest strategy, so give us a call anytime.